Okay, so we're out and about in a wooded area in the city and um, getting some uh, wild uh, edibles early spring. It's the first week in May. First weekend in May, I should say. And uh, first off, we come across some, uh, some pheasant back mushroom. And it's right here, and it grows off of the uh, hardwood trees like elm and uh, uh, ash and whatnot. And you can see that it's got uh, kind of a pheasant feathers kind of decoration up top. And I believe the Latin name is uh, Polyporus uh, squ uh, squamosus. And uh, it's a polypore. And this is a really choice edible. Uh, in the uh, springtime, early spring, around the time where rails are all out and about. And like I said, there's there's a young one here. You want the young ones to harvest. There's a young one here growing. That'll get pretty big. There's two right there growing off of there like that. Um, there's an older one down there. And uh, I'm going to take a little bit and uh, I'm going to harvest this one and show you the underside. Okay, here's the underside, and as you can see, it doesn't have gills. It has these little pores, and that's how it spreads uh, its spore and propagates itself. And that's why it's called a polyporous, poly meaning mini, and porous meaning pores. And uh, what we want is we really want the, uh, the tender areas or the younger areas, which is towards the tip. The stem where it grows is kind of thick and chewy when you cook it. You should never eat wild mushrooms raw. You always should cook them first. Um, but I'm going to use the whole thing. So I like to cut the stem off and then dry it up. And I'm going to grind it up for uh, uh, powder it and make it for a soup stock. And then we can cut around the outer edge here and use this um, for sautés and whatnot. So again, this is pheasant back, also known as dryad saddle. And uh, it's really choice edible this time of year, early spring.